It's 8.26 and you're listening to the voice of the Northern Outback. God, he's that red crap gives me the shits. Bloody flies. I'm Ruth, the maid. I'm in prison for stealing bread. I'm sick of your bloody past lives garbage, Cheryl. You get a few miles away from the coast and you freak right out. A few miles? 800 bloody miles? We're in the middle of surfing Siberia, thanks to you. I only did it because my baby's starving, Your Honour. Shortcut cross country, my fault. Oh, thanks, Your Honour. We're in the middle of I nowhere. I promise I'll never steal bread Shut again. Shut up or I'll strangle you. Come on, guys, relax. We are. There's a little town up here. We can stay there overnight. What are you up to, Mike Taggart? Meow. I'm turning into a cat again. Leo Tolstoy's cat. Helping him write war and peace. Crap out of you, Cheryl, if you don't shut up! Could do it swim. Are we near the inland sea yet? Is that what you told her? There's no stupid inland sea, is there? Isn't there? Not for 10 million years. Must be an old map. No inland sea. What are we doing here then? Yeah, Mike, what are we doing here? Um, I just have to meet someone. Bloody opportunist, Taggart. You only talked us into this because you didn't have a car. Well, you didn't have anything special going. Right, that's it. I've had enough. We're going back. But it's only another... We're going back now. All right, well, I'll get out here then. Now, don't you worry about me. I'll be fine. I can't leave him here. You want to get out too? Shit. Oh, bugger. Dodge two tonner? Uh, no. Hey! Hang on! Hey! Can you give us a lift? Where you headed? Dingo. Dingo's north. I'm going west. Um, great! Sunbag on the highway, that's your business. What are you looking for? Old Dodge Tutor. Mates are yours?
these are the rocks that'll always keep you company, eh? And these big rocks, they're like caves. Real friends. They're there when... Killed. Poisoning sheep, not people. Oh, I get it. You only wound sheep poisonous. There's a code. up on the high road. You're a long way from the coast, Blondie. Mike. How'd you go with the Crimmett brothers? Any luck? Oh, I found them, but they'd have made it to the Timony Caves by now. <sighs> so did they poison any more boars? No, they're fine. But my generator's still stuffed. You said you'd fix it. Connie, I've got things to do. Oh, come on, Ryder. I've got no power. You can bring Blondie with you, I guess. It's Mike. Watch yourself with Connie, okay? What do you know about this guy? Sydney. But I've been in Penang for the last couple of years. Have you been to Cactus? Yeah. Great surf. <laughs> Jet and generator. Best surf in Australia at Cactus. Magic summer swell. You meet the bear? You know the bear? 
six foot blonde. Penong, P E N O N G. So why'd you come back? I came back when my dad died. All of this lush, fertile grazing land's mine. You like it here? I'll get some tea. Turning it clockwise. <coughs> you know I'm Mike Taggart? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I know him. Where have you heard of him? I hear he beat up a cop. Yeah, well, this cop was planning shit on guys and then busting them. <coughs> and he left Penang in a hurry. He had to. Okay. Back the other way. Bit of a troublemaker, this Taggart. Okay, start her up. <laughs> Try turning it back the other way. No, no, it'll just pull your hand in further. <clears throat> pull that one that way. <sighs> right? Shit, I'll need stitches. Maybe. This might need bleeding again. Do you think you can fix it again? Oh, yeah, no worries. Good. Why would anybody want to poison sheep? Makes no sense to me. Maybe they just don't like sheep. Oh. Maybe someone with a grudge. Or somebody who thinks a bit of trouble might persuade you and the ore cost to sell out. <laughs> who in his right mind would want to buy us out? Someone stupid. Sorry. Anyway, I'll find out when I catch up with the crewmen. So, you're headed for Dingo? Yep. Any reason in particular? I'm supposed to meet someone there. Who? I don't know. Mm, mystery man. He doesn't want to say that's his business. Well, you're almost there. It's only 40 miles north. You can borrow my car if you like. Connie, I thought you were going to do something for me tomorrow. Um, I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow, but Mike could do it, couldn't you? Sure. Here you are. Take that to Ern at the store. Ask him who bought it. Tell him not to mention it to anyone. Okay. Ryder bothers you? Yeah. Because he's a cop. He's a cop? Yeah. But he's different. Now that he's gone, can you tell me who you're meeting? It's true. I don't know. It's a weird story. Someone gave this to my mother 25 years ago. She gave it to me just before she died. Meet me on August the 17th, 1987 at Joe Bogart's, 50 miles west of Dingo. I saved your life. Do this in return. Who saved your life? When? When I was really young, my mother said. So someone made an appointment with you for tomorrow, 25 years ago. Someone you don't even know. Well, I've never heard of Joe Bogart, and 50 miles west of Dingo's just desert. Ask Ryder.
Los Alamos is Navajo land. I don't care how important their Manhattan project is, they've got no right in taking the land. You understand, don't you? Well, bloody torch ran out. I'll have to fix a motor in the morning. I like you, Joe. Even if you do look strange. Snap out of it, Cheryl. I'll show you strange. Wonder how Mike's getting on. <laughs> Hasn't been a car all day. He's probably still there. This was my dad's room. Still full of all his cricketing crap. My old man's like that. Not cricket. He's into business. Takeovers. Charles Wright, a brilliant young state cricketer, killed his six-month-old son today. The infant died in hospital after being struck by a cricket ball hit by a rider for an otherwise magnificent six. What are you doing in Connie's mug? Uh, I'm a friend of hers. Bloody dust everywhere! You ever thought about dust, have you, son? No, I don't suppose you have. You can't tell what shape it is, it's too bloody small. That's what it looks like up close. You'd swear it was alive, wouldn't you? <laughs> Been here 52 years. Born here. Dust was just as bad then, only we didn't know what it looked like. 1935. The year Alf Bandrill got his leg bit by the crocodile. Crocodile swam 1,200 miles to bite Alf's leg off. Nearly got away with it too. Alf got the whole leg back. No good to him though. All chewed up one end. Gave it to his dog. Do you know someone called Joe Bogart? He was an actor, wasn't he? Someone who lived west of town. Maybe still does. No, no, there's Joe Clayton, but he's east. Only Bill Pickles is west and Hathaway Station. This is 50 miles west of town. Oh, God, no. They're only 10, 12 miles out. 50 miles out's desert, son. <laughs> Joe Bogart. 
25 years ago, maybe. Haven't had an act around here since those travelling players during the war. And they were all drunks. Mary Clayton ran away with one. <laughs> she come back pretty quick smart, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Ryder, the cop. I know who Ryder is, son. Don't get smart with me. And you'd better not get smart with him either. Otherwise, you'll end up like the Tinson boys. Who are the Tinson boys? Killed one of Mary Clayton's daughters back in 74. Ryder brought them all back, though. All four of them. Dead or alive? Two of each. Ha <laughs> ha, that was a day. They asked if you could trace who bought this. Yeah, of course you can. That's a registered poison. That's the batch number. He said not to mention it to anyone. Hush, hush, is it? Police work? Is there anyone else around here who could help me? Someone who's been here for a long time? Everyone's been here a long time, son. You're the first stranger I've seen since Ruth Sawyer's baby last year. <laughs> 25 years ago. That was 62. Thanks. A great dust storm of 62. Attacked the whole town. Stamp that in your mind, son! Frightening! Only weather reports, Ryder. Know anything about the Crimmett Brothers, Weston? Yep. I know you're after them. You've seen them? Who? No. They've been poisoning water boys. Mine too. They need to be shot. I hear you've been buying more property around town, JL. Yes, I'm on the expand. Didn't think land around here would be that profitable. I come from these parts, Ryder. I don't have to expand elsewhere, simply because it's more profitable. Admirable. You all right? No luck with Joe Bargar. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a long way to come for nothing. I met you.
You um going back then? Yeah, I suppose so. There's a supply truck due in tomorrow. You could get a lift back with it. Yeah. You got much to do? Have you got a better idea? Yeah. God, I love these straight roads. <sighs> They're only straight because no one around here has got the imagination to put any curves in them. Call this. I think we should go back and get Mike. Oh, top idea. He's the reason we're stuck here. Where did that come from? Bastard. Great TV, Ariel. <sighs> 08 25, August 17, 1 to 200 miles from approximate location of alien craft. to get back to the coast one day. You know how I told you my father was a big businessman? Yeah. Well, he's not. I didn't think he was. I never knew him. That's why I'm so keen on finding Joe Bogarts. You figured the note was from your father. It's weird. You could stay a while. If he turns up. The date's so specific. August the 17th. Today. You could stay for a while anyway. I'd like that.
so are you gonna stay? <clears throat> no. You can start fixing the fence then. I'd love to get my post hole digger back from Hathaway's. Do you know about this? <sighs> Jesus, don't say anything to him. Killed his kid. No wonder he screwed up. G'day. How's your hand? Fine. I didn't know you were a cop. Bother you, does it? Well, I was thinking of hanging around and I wondered where I stood. You mean on the Penang business? Yeah. Well, you strike me as a straight enough kid. <laughs> it's a bummer about. Bummer about what? Come on, say it. I'm sorry about your kid. Hey. Find who you're looking for? Nah. Morning. Hello. Uh, I'm James McCauley. I'm uh, an astrophysicist. No, you speak noting yourself around here, fella. I'm not. I'm uh, investigating an incident. There ain't no incidents in this town. We're very careful. <laughs> and if there were, we'd put a stop to them pretty quick smart. Uh, a meteorite uh, fell near here yesterday. I was wondering if anyone had reported seeing it. No one round here reports them. What? What you said. Too much dust. That's a louse. And it pulls away like it's slice of bread. It's a winner factor, a John Deere tractor. This is Herd and Hooney Hounslow, and at the sound of the newborn lamb, it'll be 10 a.m. Well, the big story in the news today, the super phosphate bounty is under attack again, and I'm going to be talking to Dad Foster about that a little later. Right now, I've got the big song of the moment. Angry... Oi! You OK? You OK? I so here, my man. Then they disappeared. Just like that. Who disappeared? I have no idea. That's why. <laughs> A mirage. Big as life, too. Need only Crothers grave. Joe Bogart's diner. <laughs> Food for ghosts. What did you say about <laughs> Joe Bogart's?
Hello? You're late, Mike. I was expecting you yesterday. Who's that? Me? I'm the Wicked Witch from the West. Bogart's the name. But you can call me Joe. Did you send me the note? That's me, boss. Ain't you seen a man with funny ears before? They give me that cute alien. I say they give me that alien look. Come with me to the test bar. Uh, would, you, uh, would you like a drink, Bartlett? Beer pour votre plaisir. A man's best friend is a bud. Budweiser, king of beers. I don't mind if you don't like my manners. I don't like them myself. They're pretty bad. I grieve over them long winter nights. What is all this? Ah, the curious type. I can give it to you long, or I can give it to you short. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you tonight a very strange story. A story so strange, no one will believe it. I am a traveler from another planet, with powers and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. And who, disguised as Joe Bogart... Mild man and alien. You see, this is a spaceship. Unfortunately, in the course of his journey, as he passed over the Australian outback, Bogart's kind of fears, his power capsule, broke off. And suddenly helpless, he crashed into the desert. And the reason I invited you here, Chickadee, was so you could help me get my kind of fears back. Because Bogart himself was unable to leave the confines of the ship. I might be attacked by wabbinous beasts. What are you talking about? You don't mean that Fred C. Dobbs don't say nothing he don't mean. Great. I come to find my father, and I find a reject from Star Trek. You're not my father, are you? I'm not your father, kid. Trust me. I'm an alien. I'm from another planet, part of the Sirius constellation, <laughs> in a galaxy far, far away. You ain't seen nothing yet. The hands of time show 1026. Everything's peaceful, everything's fine. Things start to go wrong. I knock over my favorite crystal jug. Uh oh! You get angry with me and stab me quite brutally. Oh. Ah. Oh. I never had a chance to move! My precious bodily fluids. I'll have to... Retire! Oh. You scream in pain. Oh. Well, go on, scream. Oh, scream. Christ! Oh. When you're stabbed, you'll take it. And like it. Ow! Oh. Well, don't worry. We'll still have Paris. Look at the clock. It's 10.25. A minute before everything went bad. My favorite jug, back in one piece. Your hand. Curiously unharmed. I'm dreaming. Uh-oh. It's 10.26 again. I feel this craziness coming back. Can't you tell when I'm joking? No. You understand what happened, Igor. We went back in time. A minute. Back to 10.25. And everything's exactly the way it was the first time. If I hadn't shown you that, you wouldn't understand this. You see, kid, I've been here before. Here in a desert. Same time, same place. It was a mirage. Oh, now it's Professor Einstein. Find anyone to help you look rough? Uh, no, no. I'll have a mineral water, thanks. What's he looking for? A meaty bites coming out of the sky. <laughs> Meteorites. Falling dog food, you people are in bread. Scientists, eh? 
You want to meet Taffy O'Keefe. He's discovered a way to excavate through a mountain using sound. CSIRO or private? He's the cook at Joe Clayton's. He's already halfway through the Virgin Hill. That's a cave. He's got all the sound in an old stove. I'll tell you the bloke you ought to talk to. J.L. Weston. He's crazy about scientific things. I saw it come out of the sky. All bright light everywhere. You uh, didn't see what it was, did you? All hazy. Like an angel in a vision. Oh, idiots. Sorry, Prof. The bone man's sensitive. You've got to admit it's hard to buy. Oh? I mean, you were here before, but at the same time, like now. I get it. Something went wrong last time, so you've come back to do it differently this time. For one who has not lived even a single lifetime, you are a wise man. I don't believe it. You could kill someone and go back and it wouldn't have happened. That can come in handy. Back home, we use that as aggression therapy. Back to business. I gotta get this ship mobile. Ship? If it's a spaceship, how come it looks like a diner? Is he on the ball or is he on the ball? The boy knows what a spaceship looks like. Well, you see, kid, my camouflage system packed up a while back while I was hanging around a joint called Los Alamos. Where they made the atom bomb? Well, they helped. I had to do it. The Japs won the war. You were all eating sushi and you didn't like it. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions to ask, but let's leave them till after the show. Is that right, audience? Okay, your ship crashed because your power capsule fell off. And now you want me to get it back for you. What we got here is a failure to communicate. Of course, that's what I want. This will show you where to find it. Why me? Why go back 25 years and send a note? 25 years is as easy as 25 minutes, and I like you. Did I get this capsule for you last time? You weren't even here last time. Where was I? Now tell Is it radioactive? Very <laughs> good, sir, you're a character. Of course it's radioactive, but no more than I am. Besides, a little radioactivity can be a wonderful thing. There's just one more thing, kid. There's a character out there called J.L. Weston. He'll kill you for that capsule. He killed the person I sent to find it for me last time. Watch your step. So you understand? You can't fail me now. Your future's in it. My future. Everything all of us have is staked on you. Mike, you're going out there a youngster, but you've got to come back with my capsule. That's where you'll find it. Next to that old wall. How do you know? Because that's the place it was last time. Now go. Go. I want to be alone. Weird. A wall. A wall. Great. Stop. Wasting my time. <clears throat> Up yours, Professor Doggy Doo Pennington. Ten forty one, no sign of any activity at the so called JL Western Ozone Project. Checking shed. Jail Weston. What's it to you? I see you're interested in the weather. That's a useful hobby. 
Of course I'm interested in the weather. That's why I got the charts. I uh, spoke to the publican. You have a scientific bent. Man of intelligence. Anything scientific happens, I know about it. I got foresight. In a couple of years, this whole area will be a farming paradise. Rain all the time. And that's because of the ozone layer. Do you know about the ozone layer? Yes, yes, of, of course. I see. A scientist, eh? What are you doing here? I'm looking for a meteorite. Damn meteorites! Making holes in the ozone layer. There must be a way of stopping them. It could be. Yes, they could be stopped. You and I could help each other. You could help me find the UF uh, meteorite. UF. Oh, if the UFOs, there must be aliens. Aliens wandering around out there trying to make contact. That's not very likely. The person who finds them. We need a contract. All right. You know, I like you, even though you are a foreigner. Dust's worse than I thought. It's got lice in it. The dust's full of lice. Small ones you can't see. I had an expert in. Crazy as a cut snake. Wore a jacket and a bow tie all day. But he knew all about dust. Listen in, did you Oh, yeah, that? I got it all for you. It didn't come through this store. Fenner Lysol. Came from the store at Kellyville. They sold it a couple of weeks ago. Someone bought ten drums. A fancy dresser wearing spurs. Sounds like JL, doesn't it? I could have got it for him. I reckon I'm being discriminated against. And I get the money from toy replicas and ice cream. Hey, that's a nice suit. Do you want to sell it? Uh, no. They're probably out there now, wandering about. They can disguise themselves as people, you know. In the films, they have a little finger that points the wrong way. They wouldn't be so stupid. Probably look just like us. But, uh, dress different, maybe. Ah, oh, Ryder! You seen any strangers in town the last couple of days? Mighty fancy truck, J.L. Yes, it belongs to a friend of mine. It's a newfangled truck for uh, rounding up stock by satellite. We're testing it. Tell me, do you know anything about stuff called vinyl lysol? Maybe. What is it? A poison. A fellow bought ten drum of it in Kellyville a couple of weeks back. Yeah, that was me. I know. Someone's been using it to poison the boars. So that's what's happened to it. Those crimmets stole it from right out of my shed. You think you can get it back from me? Well, what are you going to do? Arrest me for losing my chemicals? You tell me. Well, I know it looks suspicious, but I can help you. I can get those crimmets in because I know where their hideout was. Okay, you got till tomorrow. My office at 11.
Same out here. Gravity is weaker at night, like parallel lines. Parallel lines. <laughs> I knew Ryder was hiding something. I've been asking around. He found this young fellow lying on Dingo Highway, blonde, six foot tall, wearing weird pants. Claims to be meeting up with someone who doesn't exist. So there's a stranger in town. He's carrying this big surfing ball. He's an alien. There are no aliens. Even if there were, they wouldn't disguise themselves as people. Now you watch your step. I can get knowledge by osmosis. You're not cutting me out of anything. You haven't had any more experience of aliens than I have. I don't care how scientific you are. Real people don't lie on highways. You stay here and get the detector ready. I'll be back in an hour. Birds all fly at the same speed. Look, I'll give ten bucks to anyone who can show me one bird pass another in flight. You see, they don't. Hello, what have we got here? I'm looking for... Meaty bites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for two chicks in a yellow combi. One's got... They fall out of the sky? I haven't seen them yet, kid. But the way things are going, we will. <laughs> <laughs> now the bloody electricals are stuck. Cheryl, mm. your foot's on fire. Which one? Get the shit out of me. Hello, Connie, it's me, J.L. Weston. Understand as a young man staying with you. Maybe. What's it to you? Today? Ryder found him lying on Dingo Highway. Right? He's acting strange, isn't he? He is, eh? Connie, I need to talk to that young fellow. Do you know where he is? No. He may be very dangerous. Is he alone? Sort of. Well, if he comes back, I want you to call me straight away. Others. I knew it.
Uh, <laughs> no more applause, please. Uh, <laughs> oh, who to thank? My mother. I'd like to thank my mother. Oh, awake. Good. What are you doing? Let me up. No identification. Very careful. You're from the government. Expecting someone from the government? You're Western. Western? I'm not Western. Hmm. Still radioactive. Light at the end of the tunnel. Who are you working for? Look, man, I think you've got me confused with someone else. I know who you are. Don't you play games with me. Where is it? I know what you're doing here. Bullshit! Subject is exhibiting low but significant levels of radioactivity. You've been in contact with it already. With what? Now go find that arsehole with the truck. But don't touch it. He may have found something. Slimy egghead sneaking off. Crim thinks you're going to turn us into the cop. Oh, don't be so stupid, Crimmett. Idiot! Don't you ever listen. Tomorrow, at 11 o'clock, you're meeting me to... What? Kill him. Right. Uh, um, Crim's arm's all swollen. Uh, it's driving me crazy. Like, we can't stay in that cave any longer. Bloody whinger. I'm not whinging. I want to go and kill more sheep. I don't want to listen to that now. He wants to hear the speech. I haven't got time. He'll get angry if he doesn't hear the speech. All right. All right. Everyone knows that the land round Dingo is dry and barren. Barely able to support one sheep for every 20 acres of land. But the fools do not realize that in five years' time, due to the ozone layer, the whole of this region will be one fertile plain with a plentiful rainfall. No longer will we have to be satisfied with a minuscule return. Well, let him do the sheep. Oh, all right, all right, all right. A minuscule return for sheep farming. They're not natural animals. I hate sheep. Instead, the same 20 acres will be able to feed 20 head of cattle. And it's all, all because, because of, of the ozone layer. Now go find the egghead. Well, I suppose you think it was rather careless of me not coming in disguise too. It was. I wanted to bring this. <laughs> Designed it all myself. Even the suit press. Good, isn't it? Who are you working for? I don't work for anyone. I'm on the doll. But you came here looking for the UFO, didn't you? No. Well, why did you come here? I came to find my father. But you're radioactive. Can't be an accident. You have been in contact with something radioactive. Yes. So you know how you became radioactive. I was looking for the power capsule. It's a power capsule. Um... Where's it from? The Sirius Constellation. I was right! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> I went to where it landed, but it was gone. Uh, so someone else has it? Who? Weston? Cheryl. Cheryl? Cheryl? Where's she from? The coast. The coast? Uh, where is she now? I couldn't find her. Is she still around here? I think so. Where? 
Where? In Margie's combi. So, there's still a chance. What would a woman do with a power capsule from Sirius? No, 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 no. The boss said not to. Just tell him we found the egghead. Everybody dead. Oh, I can smell him from here. Did a black come into town a couple of days ago? Young guy, blonde, thinks he's good looking. <laughs> it's no good talking to him. Pissed from us all the breakfast time. You were that young fella coming yesterday. Mike, you look like my husband. Bastard, sold me to the Indian agent for two bison. Place is turning into a circus. Is there someone who fixes cars in this dump? Yeah, see Bernie round the back. She thinks she can. Mind you, I wouldn't trust her with mine. Not since she got dust on the engine. It was a nightmare! Where's Mike, the guy... I'm not running a tourist bureau. Cheryl! It's in my handwriting on one of my file cards and I've never seen it before. But what about Mike? Oh. 0936, August the 18th, a power capsule apparently from the uh, Sirius Constellation has been found near the town of Dingo. Uh, human contact has been made. Uh, I'm. I was just on my way over to you. My place is back there. Yeah. Slow me again, sneaking about. Where'd uh, you disappear to? Well, I just remember. Out there trying to catch I... aliens by yourself, eh? Have you got any? Really, there are no aliens. Crap. Let's have a look around the back. No, really, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. Believe me. I'd hate to think you were hiding anything from me. Like aliens.
I'm not a man to be double-crossed. Remember that. Nobody pushes me around. Come on, we're heading into town. Uh, well, I'll be Krim along Brothers. in a while. I'll just... You come now. I've got to keep an eye on you. <clears throat> I got an appointment at 11. I hate being late. Especially for funerals. <laughs> it is only 20 to 10. Yeah, well, we'll be early. You head off into town. We'll follow in a few minutes. Don't try anything sneaky by yourself. I think he's found something. You get what you need. Meet me in town. German shit. Boo! What are you doing, Professor? Uh, you didn't see who came in this, did you? No, it just drove itself into town. Where'd they go? Looking for meteorites. Bloody does this. Yeah, okay then. Oh, yeah. Well, I gotta get to town. Yeah, you go, I'll be fine. So this scientist, Macaulay, he's after your friends. Yeah, right. And he's got something to do with those other blokes who are poisoning the sheep. And there's another guy who looked like the boss. Wearing spurs? Yeah, right. Shit. I've got to find Margin Shell before Macaulay does. I saw them in town. Cheryl! Get your ass into gear. Pub's open. I found 
it. I have found it. <laughs> but how did he know it was from Sirius? Nobody pushes him around. <laughs> no more assignments at the tracking station. I'll get a Porsche. Yes. That bastard Weston. Look at that surfer know? That's him! Crazy! Crazy! Pennington must have... Would you shut that door? No, he wouldn't send them. Ah! God, I must press this suit. I'm going to be on the cover of time now. You've got to get me back to the city. Do you know who he is? Hmm? It's all right. I've got official ID. Hands in the air. How did you know it was from Sirius? Mike, can hmm? I get some handcuffs for me? Did he tell you? I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's, it's all right. I've got authority. If you ring Professor Pennington, the warmer a tracking station. No, no, ring time. Come on, up you come. Look, I am an international celebrity. Well, I would have been, wouldn't I? Big country cop. High point of my career. Ruined by fools. I'll drive this, you follow in the Nissan. Right. Don't leave me here with him. What are you doing? You can't do that. That is government property. That is mine. You can't drive my truck. Stop him. Stop him, for God's sake. Oi, you in there. Stop the truck. Stop him. of the head with a fish and everyone else in the whole igloo just sits there eating whale meat and it's like I'm there but I'm not there it's like I'm a visitor from another planet you know thank god you've turned up no, he stole it. He stole it from my workbench over there. I was ready to do some tests, and he's removed it. You can't treat me like this. Hicks in the middle of nowhere. I am a scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've he took it. That is government property. Yeah, no, you, you, ring Professor Pennington. He took it. That is my greatest crowning achievement. <laughs> Got it. 
My mother thanks you, my father thanks you, my sister thanks you, and I thank you. So what is it, really? The, uh, stuff that dreams are made of. Of course I don't look like Shirley MacLaine. You people are all strange. Hey, girls, write us back if you want to ask him about you, mate. <laughs> You've done something for me, kid. What can I do for you? Money? Fame? No, no, young fella like you. You want to be in showbiz. A rock star. And they ain't even been written yet. You bloody idiots! Control him. He don't feel safe in towns. No rocks. Everything's falling into place. Weirdos at the police station. Let's kill the cop and get out before getting into trouble. Two aliens at the pub. So if I wasn't here, who got it for you last time? Ryder. Ryder. Right. He said the notes on the map look like his handwriting. Yep. Wouldn't be here without him. Or maybe I'd still be here. So he was killed last time. What went wrong? Did you have any trouble with J.L. Weston? Never even saw him. Nice! Filthy vermin! You bastard! Get out of there! This guy's just a... The aliens! Horrible. They don't look like aliens. Of course they don't look like aliens. They're heading for the police station too. It's my day. Come on, let's get going. Hey. Don't harm the aliens. What if they got ray guns? You bloody idiot. You've seen them. They don't have any ray guns. Come on, hurry up. So what happened last time? Well, last time, after Riley got the capsule for me, this character, G.L. West, and the two Krimit brothers. Krimit brothers? And Weston? Weston, he's the bloke in Spurs. I don't know what he puts on his ankles, but he was after my capsule, too. I got an appointment at 11. I hate the late. Especially for funerals. <laughs> well, before Riley could give it back to me, the three of them cornered him in his office and, uh, yeah, what's the word? Killed him. I think it's happening again. <laughs> to do with you it's about the sheep sheep Ryder knows they poison the sheep oh the sheep what a bummer and I thought I had it planned so well poor bastard ah well nobody's perfect you know Mike some things just have to be can't change them yes this was one of them what do you mean meant to be that's bullshit you can change anything couldn't stop the Holocaust got rid of Strasser a dumb house painting named Adolf turned up and did it exactly the same way! Who'd have read about it? Hey! Mike, I can't let you! Well, I guess a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Be careful! I haven't recharged it! Troublemaker, this tagger. There's something on. Yeah. It won't make sense yet. I'll tell you later. Oh, yeah. Watch your hand.
Oh, it always bloody does this. Okay, I've got to get to town. Nobody pushes him around. We gotta catch him! Weston and his other boats will kill him! No more assignments at the tracking station. <laughs> I'll get a Porsche. It's only a couple of miles to town. Of course they don't look like Shirley MacLaine. You people are all strange. Hey girls, ride us back if you want to ask them about your mate. <laughs> Giants and all the world. Come in, Connie. Together again. For the first time. You drew this for me after you found it last time. Why'd you get Mike to help you? Why not someone who's already here? Ah, yes, Mike. Mike is a promise I made Ryder last time. Mike is Ryder's son. The baby he killed in a cricket match. Believe it or not. I couldn't tell you he was alive. You wouldn't have got all bitter and twisted and taken a shit job as an outback cop. And I couldn't tell you because you would have told him. And then neither of you would have been here to help me. Enough sentiment already. I gotta get going. I need that power capsule. I gave it to you. But then you went back. Before that. 
Macaulay's still got it. That's what I figured. When I saw him following you here. Take me to your leader. I come in peace. Uh, it is with great pride uh, and uh, humility that I accept the Nobel Prize. Uh, thank you, uh, President Reagan, Ronnie, uh, the uh, genuine alien. Thank you. Watch your footing, Mike. There's a hole. Mike tells me you're interested in travel. Well, have you thought about it? Yes. It's humongous. Mike, Connie, made a decision. You're going to go back? Mm -hmm. Right back 25 years? Yeah. No cricket, no. <laughs> Love yous. I'll be seeing you, Joe. Play it, Sam. Play as time goes by. You must remember this, a kiss is still a kiss, a sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by.